Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Maria Goldslavich podcast. And today I have a special guest all the way from Lisbon, Portugal, Graça Batista. And she is the creator of Angel of Mind. So these are the angels that we are holding up and we will go further into talking about them. She is also an angelic Reiki healer. She offers meditations and she also has workshops for artisan art. So welcome, welcome, Grasa. Hi, welcome. Thank you for receiving me <laughs> and uh, for the opportunity to talk about my angels of mind. <laughs> yes. Oh, I um, love these angels. So for our listeners, and please note that there will be pictures on Instagram, and this will also be a YouTube videos. So for those that want to see what her angels look like, uh, it'll be in the show notes. So you can click her links to see her angels or go over to YouTube and you can see the angels that we are showing. So this angel was created by Grasa. I ordered it and it actually comes with a reading. And what is really special about these angels is each person that gets a reading done by Grace gets their own unique angel. No two angels are ever alike. And that has her little uh, signature there. It's so cute. So Grasa, can you tell us about, like if I wanted to get a reading with one of these dolls, because these dolls, the angels always come with the reading. It's part of the reading. So it's called Angel of Mine. How does that process work? So first we email you to find out about this. And then what do yeah. you do behind the scenes? If you could share with us. Behind the scenes. So I receive your request. Yes. And I ask, the first thing I ask you, is it for you or for other person? No, it's for me. So, okay. Whether I know you or not, I only ask for the birth date, not because I need it to the message, but because I like to, to put in the guide, the final guide, explain uh, that there are seven cosmological rays, especially they are the seven that work uh, more in uh, Earth since the last century. And they are related to the most uh, known uh, archangels. And so that's why, be why? because uh, there are seven rays, cosmological rays, but you, when you incarnate in this life, mm -hmm. you decided to work harder for one of the rays. And so, for instance, uh, if you are from the first ray, which uh, is from Archangel Michael, it's the blue ray, you are going to work harder to have courage, to have strength, to practice uh, more the, the spiritual cleaning of spaces of you, you work justice. So it's important for that person it's something that the owner of the uh, angel of mine it's important to, for him to know that uh, for instance this one is blue <laughs> it's the it has the sword of archangel michael um Beautiful. <laughs> uh, for instance it's important for it's important for the owner uh, to know because he, he can start from there, okay? Whether I give him uh, the, in spite of giving him a message, a final message that it's given for me, to me, to, to put in the guide, the final guide, this information is important because all of us have to work in the seven rays, the attributes of God. Uh, separated for seven rays. There are much more, a lot of rays, but uh, let's let's just talk about seven. Keep it simple. Uh, Mine has green, so I'm the green, green. ray. You're oh. from the green ray, and you okay. have in your guides the, yes. the 
nation. So you belong to Archangel Raphael's uh, ray, which is about the cure, not only of the physical, but the cure of the soul, of your emotional body, your psychological body, and how you have to, you are going to find and give cure, imagine, Oh, why? Why are you doing what you do? Yes, uh, you healing. give your searching for the truth. What is behind that pain? One of your clients has a pain. Why, what is behind? And you help. It's clear, no? That yeah. you help. You go behind to see what's creating that pain. That uh, 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 if you're sad, if you're going for a, a depression, um, I, I don't know how you say uh, when you are very sad and you're healed with the sadness. Oh, wow. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. No, okay. you said it right. You said it right. So depression. I will say, uh, <laughs> so, because each of the readings you do, they are so detailed. So people will receive an extremely detailed reading because I like I pointed out she has the green ray and the angel of mine you're holding can you bring it up to the screen so people can see it has blue that little boy is that a boy angel it has blue so mm -hmm. I also want you guys to uh see the detail this is all handmade I got like the three wise men here and some palm trees everything in that image was sent to me in meditation but first I am going to, to explain how everything happens in the next day. So this is one of the first thing I ask the birth date. Okay. Yes. So I start connecting. I know the name and I know the birth date. So it's all I need. I do a sort, it's a meditation, but it's a sort of the practice I do with the angelic Reiki healing. The way we proceed when we start a session of angelic Reiki healing. Uh, so I ask the angel, the beings of light, the light beings, yes. to help me, the perfect ones, to this. It is as if it was a session of angelic Reiki healing, oh. for instance. And uh, I do my meditation and I start seeing uh, things. Uh, for instance, uh, here in this one, I saw in this uh, phase, this is uh, one of the first ones and I didn't do the arms separated. Okay. Oh, so I do. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, but this one have the, the arms uh, still embroidered and yes. has the orobo, the symbol of Ouroboros. It's a circular symbol meaning uh, at the beginning and at the end, the cycle of things uh, in the universe. That's beautiful. Grasa, uh, is that one for a baby? No, it was for my son. Oh, <laughs> that was for your son. son. Okay, <laughs> I thought you said you had one for a baby. So of course, he are, he's all, always my baby. He has 19, but uh, this time oh. he will have 17, 16. Okay. So all <laughs> so our kids always, are our babies forever. Always, always. Yes, it's a baby. But the detail. Yes, it's so beautiful. Yes, a lot beautiful. of detailing is it has fairies in woods, in the wood. Yeah. They are playing in a tree, an old tree. Yeah. And there is a dragon. So uh, I saw a dragon. I saw fairies. And uh, nor normally I see more or less what I embroider. But sometimes, I don't see nothing for the first time. And uh, it's more recent that uh, kind of uh, happening. 
for instance, the, in this one, it was the last one I did. Oh, that's uh, so beautiful. I, I see sparkles. See. It's shiny. Yeah. That's yes. a beautiful angel of mine. Yeah. It's the, this is a golden river. I only saw a golden river. And this is for a baby. She's okay. about a one and a half uh, year now. And I gave uh, her this uh, three months ago, more or less. So I, was, I thought, okay, it's for a baby. I only see a river. What's happening here? But I do this for three or four years mm -hmm. for now. I, I'm okay. This is going to happen. I don't care. Yes. Let's do it. And so um, if I don't stay in that meditation that I do to connect with and who I connect, I connect with the guardian angel of the person mm. and I connect it, it doesn't mean that I identify the light beings. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't need to identify unless uh, there happens to appear Mother Mary. That happens once. And uh, the owner has Mother Mary embroidered in the, in the, the angel. Uh, it doesn't matter if I identify or not the light beings, but I know that the guardian angel of the person is, and some of the light beings that are more connected with that person, I do with crochet and with knitting. And uh, I paint with textile painting too, uh, sometimes. Those angels are beautiful because my, yes. I'm going to say mine is probably the most beautiful, but whatever. But that one, the flowers pop out. Look at that. So I guess yes, the angel, sunflowers. Yes. Yes. Because you crochet them. There's a tree that is, it's oh. specifically a nut tree. Oh, nut they, tree. I, I don't remember now because then I, uh, while I was embroidering, I felt it's a nut tree. I it's love that. Something. You're so connected. Because every time I grab the angel I was, I'm working on, I connect with them. It's something very natural in me now. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel I know... The, light beings and i immediately feel my uh, guardian angel i feel the light beings that help me yeah some, some of them i identify some know and sometimes our ascended masters the feminine ascending masters i have a, a lot of them <laughs> but not only that i have angels helping me too i feel them and so I start working. And I'm there, and the, then I saw the nuts. It's only a few yeah. of the sunflowers because there you have the embroidery. Oh, wow. So I, the detail see. is amazing. It's exquisite. Yes. Like even here, like the detail of the different flowers, the palm trees. This is, I think, I believe this is called a thistle, the three wise men. Like the detail is incredible. So yeah. I am curious, Grasa, have okay. you made one for yourself? Oh, no? Not yet. I don't, didn't have the time yet. <laughs> you don't have but the time. I'm so curious to know because I feel, I already feel um, a lotus flower. Mm. I'm not sure it's going to show in the when I'll do it, but I feel it. I think she's talking with me, <laughs> but I still is. don't don't uh, know. Yeah, I didn't do it yet. It's Not yet. For me and for my oldest uh, son. <laughs> oh my goodness! Because you're super busy. You also create these. Not an angel of mine, but if somebody wants a custom made angel, you create those too, and they're bigger. Correct. 
I never did a bigger one. What I've made are unicorns and dragons. Yes. You can see on my Instagram page. Okay. Some uh, ascended masters. Okay. Yemen those. Shana. But I those already, do not come with the reading, correct? Like these come with the reading. Those don't come with the those reading. Those are different. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. And it, I do highly recommend people go to Grace Batista's Instagram because she has them all. And it's just like, you're so uh, artistic and so creative. So yes. when you started this journey to make these dolls, how did that happen? Like just one day you went home and you're like, I'm going to make a bunch of different dolls or did it come to you in a dream? The, like, how did it happen? I want to know. It happens uh, some years ago. Yes. I've made uh, a course on uh, Reiki for children. Yes. And there's a girl here in Portugal that makes that, uh, it's connected with the association here of Reiki. Yes. And uh, she makes the Reiki for children. And in that uh, system of hers, uh, she offers to whom does the course, the workshop, uh, a, a doll, a blue doll, which is a guy who helps the children to go visit all the his chakras. And it's um, it's something that uh, makes the child feel more secure. Yes, I've met that. I was uh, I've made that workshop, and I was already working with angelic Reiki healing, and I I thought hmm. so one one of these days is going to appear one child to make angelic Reiki healing. And it will be uh, nice for me to have an angel who will make him feel more safe. Yeah. So then I have a weekly meeting for a meeting here yes. in, the, in my place uh, with some friends. And those friends once said to me, oh, now for two months, we are not coming because I'm, we are going to make a workshop on embroidery. Uh, you, It will be fun for you to come with us. And okay, but uh, I'm not uh, very interested in learning more of embroidery because I've learned with my grandmother. And oh. it's okay. I know the, the basic. It's okay for me but you're going to be alone then. Okay, so I started, okay, I'm going with you. It will be fun and we'll be the five or six or something like that. And so I went and I presented myself like this. Uh, I'm here because I was not going to for two months to do my meeting encounters. And so I went, I came and our teacher said that I'm the only one got who profit from that workshop <laughs> because I've started and I've made was an angel uh, that I embroidered in a bag the best one <laughs> it's yours it's the best one it's yes, my baby everybody says always that even this it's from a baby with, in the time, one year, now he's 18 months. And her mother said that her reaction to the angel was completely different uh, from every toy she has. But this one has the special place in her bedroom. Yes. Uh, in a place that she can always see. And this is her baby. Aww. She says that with the light in her eyes. Yes. And mother, she was impressed. <laughs> yeah. They're infused with love. Like you create these out of yeah. love. And love. kids can tell. We can tell. That's why when I do my videos, it's always on my shelf. You'll see on my YouTube videos. Yes. My angels is always with me. 
Because oh, it what, means something, what, right? It's unique. Yes. What did you feel when you opened the, the package? And uh, you, the what? package? Well, I was really excited because I yeah. got to say, I yeah. waited so many months. Did <laughs> you have a big waiting list? Yes. You're like super famous oh. there in Portugal. And I was like, oh my goodness. And then I'm in Canada. So I had to be shipped to Canada. And then once I got it, I, was, I ordered it for friends. Then I ordered it for my niece for her birthday. And I knew you had a big waiting list. And I was just like, I'm going to pray to the angels that my angel comes in. And it did. It did. I don't know what happened. The and perfect. Then, yes. It's always in the perfect time. Yes. Yes. So uh, after this, I'm going to put in an order for another angel, just saying that uh, for a birthday present for somebody. What I like about what you do is you create these beautiful readings because you're so connected. And I love your passion for angels, for God, for the divine, for something bigger than us. And you're so humble. Like you're so humble. <laughs> I love you. And then they're unique. That's what I love about these angels because I know so much time, effort, and love and connected to all those healing angels that you work with to create this detail. Like this doesn't happen in an hour. This isn't going to happen in oh, no, an no. hour or two. This takes a long time. So to me, it's special because I know you put a lot of love and detail into it and I'm forever grateful. I'm so grateful for my doll. I just want to make sure that I let people know. So this, people can order it and it can be shipped anywhere in the world for them. Okay. Because I'm in Canada. Yeah. She's in Portugal. I think, because uh, I heard this a couple of years ago. And I think at that time you were sending some to the States too. You were just beginning to expand yeah. your company more because more and more people were finding out about them. So behind you, I just want to share with people behind you because you created, uh, because that looks, what's hanging, what is that? That's the chakra system, right? Right behind you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a hanger with uh, the chakras. And I also do one with the seven homological rays, which is different from this sequence of colors. Yes. I make mandalas in crochet. Uh, this one is from uh, the third ray, the pink third ray from Archangel Samuel, which is about love, of course. It's pink. Yeah. <laughs> Strong pink. It's the Archangel of unconditional love. It's and beautiful. I've made the, that one uh, there. Yeah, it's my messenger uh, mandala. It's the same as the angels of mine, but in the form of mandala. And uh, there I work also with meditation. I feel what they have to say. And then I, I do a, a, some research, of sacred geometry, colors, numbers, because in the mandalas, we have all that connection with all these elements. That's what makes uh, sacred geometry. It's the, the, the essence of the universe. Uh, and so it, it started more than a year ago, but it's being uh, okay. So, but this one was wrong. I started, I finished that bag, embroidered, and uh, I made, I've made the first one was for a baby too, because. Yeah. Uh, the idea was to make angels for children. And I offered that to grandson of a friend of, and uh, I gave her, but I published. It's so different from the last one. <laughs> and I send you to, for you to see the difference. Oh, I can't but wait. Then as I published, I, uh, a friend of mine from England asked for one. It was my first one. All, oh, wow. All, all England, London. Yeah. And then uh, it started. It started. Oh, I love that. Such a uh, blessed uh, experience. A blessed experience. I'm so grateful for it. Because everything, this is my baby, my idea, everything uh, 
was born from me and from the help of the angels and the masters ascended masters and the elementals because I sometimes I feel uh, all the energies here and of yeah. course it's here isn't it? <laughs> it's here, the dragon, I think it's beautiful so yes. I want I want to say a thank you because we're coming to the end of our interview yeah. I want to say thank you so much for joining me all the way in Portugal and making time for our interview and I am yeah. so blessed and so lucky to share you with the world because I truly believe in the work that you do. It's so heart-centered. I love the angel of mine. I love how they're, you get your own unique reading. You're one of a kind angel and nobody else in the world will get the exact same detail because it's no, unique. It's impossible. <laughs> So thank you. Thank you for thank being you with us so today. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And for our listeners, just look below. If you're listening to this or you're on YouTube, all her contact information will be in the show notes. All right. Have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>